Hello, everybody. Welcome to another session of One Question a Day. The question that we are going to deal is in the chapter of enamel. And the question is maturation of enamel. When this question is asked, you have to talk about the stage of differentiation, especially the maturation phase, with emphasis is on the final changes in the ameloblast, how they bring about a change in the enamel matrix, and proceeds with the calcification and mineralization process, the role of Tom's granular process, the, till the formation of reduced enamel epithelium. You need to talk about the desmolytic changes and the clinical signification of all these stages. To go with the answer, model answer, the maturation of enamel begins when the enamel matrix is completely laid down and takes place in a gradual sequence. Usually the sequence is from the DEJ towards the surface of the enamel, from the cuspal region to the cervical region. And there is a transition phase. After the secretory phase, before the maturity phase, the ameloblast reduces in its size and most of them undergoes apoptosis. This happens because they are post-functional in nature. Their function is to secrete enamel. Once that is done, they are become post-functional cells and goes reduction in size. Also, the nutritional source in from the stellate reticulum and stratum intermedium is exhausted. So they collapse, start to collapse. There is a special structure called as tombs process that are there arise from the distal end of the ameloblast and they help in the secreting the enamel matrix formed by the ameloblast. Okay, they consist of two ends, the proximal and distal end. The proximal process and the distal process as clearly shown in this diagram. And the first layer of sec enamel secreted by the tombs process gets quickly mineralized and so does not contain enamel rust. This is mediated by a protein called as tuftelin. In the subsequent layer, the proximal process secretes the inner uh, rod structures and the distal processes secretes the enamel rods. These are the blue color, color shows the enamel rods, whereas the outer dot shows the inter rod structures, inter rod prismatic substances. On further calcification of enamel, due to the pressure of the newly formed enamel matrix, Tom's process gets squeezed and becomes a rod like and disappears and this gap is filled by subsequent organic matter and that is what we see in the final enamel as rod sheath. Okay. After enamel formation, the inner enamel epithelium or the post-functional ameloblast, outer enamel epithelium collapses, they join together because of the loss of stellate reticulum and stratum intermedium to form what we call as the reduced enamel epithelium. And with this reduced enamel epithelium, it proceeds to the desmolytic stage. They are responsible for the secretion of desmolytic enzymes that are responsible for atrophy of reduced enamel epithelium, connective tissue. And this has a role to play in the protection of enamel as well as in, during the uh, tooth eruption process, as well as formation of junctional epithelium. The clinical significance, any issues with this maturative phase may lead to enamel hypoplasia. Disturbance in synthesis and secretion of organic matrix in enamel could, could be caused by nutritional defects, congenital def uh, syphilis, or any other environmental uh, issues like fluoride presence, amylogenesis imperfecta, or happening due to this defect in this stage. So that brings us to the discussion on the maturation of enamel. So very important question, stay connected with this channel and we'll meet another day with another new question. Stay connected, happy learning.